got my numbers in standard form and I want to take them out of standard form and I want to write them as ordinary numbers. So just before we get started on these, let's just have a look at the powers. In the first three, all the powers are positive. So I can expect those numbers to be large numbers. In the last three, the powers are negative, so I can expect those numbers to be small ones. So in the first one, the power is positive three. That means the decimal has to move three places. So the decimal, at the moment, it's here. We don't normally write 4.0 or 4 point, but we just have to remember that the decimal is just after the digit 4. So that decimal is going to move three places to the right so that the number gets bigger. So there are no numbers here. So when that happens, we just add in zeros. Okay, now you should be able to see that the decimal used to be there, now it's there, so it's moved three places. Okay, this makes sense because 10 cubed is 10 times 10 times 10, which is, which is 1,000, and 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. Okay, so that's the first one done. Now, in the second one, the power is 5. So we know the decimal is going to move 5 places to the right because the number's getting bigger again. So here's our decimal. So here we've got 1, 2. So that's two digits. But I need to add three zeros so that the number, the decimal, has moved five places. Okay, so let's do a check. It used to be here, now it's here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that one's good. Now, the last large number. The power is four, so the decimal is going to move four places to the right. So again, there are two digits here, so one, two, but I need to add two more zeros so that the decimal has moved four places. So, 71300, zero, zero. let's just do a check. There, the decimal used to be, now it's there, and we've got four digits in between. Okay, so, those ones are good. On to the small numbers. So, this time, the decimal still moves three places, except now the decimal is going to move to the left so that we get a small number. So, remember, if there's no decimal in this number here, just remember that it's after the digit two. So we're going to move one, two, three. So remember, when, when there are no numbers there, we need to add in zeros. So for this one, it's going to look like that. Because the decimal used to be after the two, and now it's there. So I've moved one, two, three places. Now, this zero, it's not wrong if we don't put the zero in because 0 0.002 is the same thing. It's just nice and tidy if we put the zero in front of this decimal here. Okay? Now, this one here. The decimal has to move five places. So I'm going to move it one here. So I need four more zeros for the decimal to have moved five places. Okay? So I've got four zeros after the decimal. Then I've got my six, seven, five. So again, just keep checking. The decimal used to be there, now it's there. We should have five digits in between those arrows, and we do. And then we just put a zero here, just to make it look nice and tidy. Okay, and there we go. Now, the last one. This time the decimal is moving six places. So here it's moving one, and then I need to add five zeros. So we've got 0 0.2345. Eight, three. Okay, so final check. The decimal used to be there, now it's there, and I've got six digits in between, which is correct. Okay, so that's standard form.